Hi everyone, it's Melissa, the M from the M&H of Bespoke Hairstyles, wanting to give you tips to help you manage the little heads that you look after, their hair. Little tips to help you. Um, I would say start with thinking about your language. I have had a lot of emails, comments um, from um, parents uh, wanting to help their child enjoy the grooming process. What I mean by that is from picking the hairstyle to actually drying the hair, shampooing the hair and um, installing a style. Um, so these are just little tips to help you that you might find them useful, you might not. Now I would say, first of all, be aware of your language when you are communicating um, even about your hair, just be aware of your language. And I would say whatever issues you have about your hair, recognize them and deal with them, but don't share it with a young person. And I'm talking about whether you are just somebody who works with young people, mentoring or teaching, don't share your negative feeling about your hair with them because all you're doing is they are young and they're young minds and they're just going to absorb it and then they're just going to not basically think it's okay for them not to like their hair and then they're going to try and change their curl pattern or do something that is basically not the healthiest way for them to go and bespoke hairstyles we promote natural um, styling. What I mean by that is we don't use any chemicals and we also just use our hands and we don't even use necessarily use comb, we only use the comb to part. And it's just that because we find it's the healthiest way to go and you can still get fabulous styles that way. You can check our details out, it's at the end of the posting. So you can find a different way to help a young person enjoy their hair. I would say to unpick, unpick wet. Whether they're in the bath or whether you just spritz it, just do it wet. And then rinse thoroughly and then oil through. Saturate their hair from the tip to the root. Oil thoroughly, then rinse again and then shampoo. And when you shampoo, I would say three quarters shampoo or half shampoo and the rest water just to water down, because a lot of the shampoos have chemicals and you don't necessarily use to, need to use them concentrated. Wash it down and rinse. Another tip would be, if the person whose hair you're washing is quite thick, you could partition it and do exactly the same regime, the oil through and the shampooing, section by section by section. Once you've done those sections, you could then rinse, you could rinse each section actually thoroughly but just keep them in bunches so it helps you and then just towel dry. So that's what I would say. Set, rinse thoroughly on picking wet, rinse thoroughly, oil through thoroughly, shampoo, rinse through and then just do big bunches of twists or braids, towel dry it. Microfibers are great. Microfibers pick up lint so you could use a microfiber and then towel dry it and then just leave it to air dry. And when you leave it to air dry, it'll come out dry with a bit of length and then you can just style appropriate. Check out Bespoke Hairstyles and see the work we do and it might help you with tips because obviously we're based in the UK and we're here to support everyone, UK and beyond. So those who can come to Bespoke Hairstyles, great. But if you can't, check out our work and see whether it will help you get your little one to enjoy the hair grooming experience because most times they start off feeling quite negative about it but by the time you've given them a lovely little style they love it be aware of how you're feeling and your language when you are around young people talking about your hair this is a massive subject and it's something i'm going to write about in our blog um, but um, for now i just wanted to kind of open up the conversation and kind of give you tips now, if you need tips on anything with regards to young people and helping, you know, your little one, wash their hair, shampoo their hair, feel free to comment or to inbox me or to get um, any of our contact details at the end of the posting um, and, and just stay connected, really. That's, that's what the idea is, is to help you to enjoy your hair and for your little one to enjoy their hair. But I would say start with your 
thought process. How are you thinking? How are you feeling? So when they're negative about their hair, so what you're doing is you're teaching them to love their hair. And in the future, you want them not to do something that's going to endanger their health or their follicles. And they're going to celebrate their hair. And you're teaching them how to love their hair and how to look after their hair in the future. This is very important. So feed them with positivity and celebrating their, my God, their blessing, how unique our hair is, that it can shrivel in and come out. Or naturally, you don't have to do anything um, on natural heat. It just does its thing. And get them to understand their hair so that as an adult, they are confident with their hair. And when there's negativity around them about their hair, they don't care. It doesn't bother them. Please, please, let's work together to make young people look forward to enjoying their natural hair. If they choose to want to work with their natural hair, there is an option there. Do not make them feel negative about their hair. Please, please be aware of your language and then take it from there. Stay connected, everyone. And if you need help with anything to do with this topic, just send me a message and we'll take it from there. I don't know everything. I'm just giving you tips. Um, the rest is up to you, really. I'm just giving you tips. And I want to learn. So if you have anything, any ideas, any information, anything you want to share with me, please, please feel free. And I'll pass it on to Iget, who does exist, by the way, and is making a way down here soon but in the meantime you've got me thank you everyone take care